Hey guys, um, quick video for you today. It is a question I get asked a fair bit, which is how do you shoot on film and basically hook your film camera up to flash or strobes. So um, today I will be specifically talking about strobe lights. I'm gonna take you along with me to Melbourne Studios where we're shooting Lana Wilkinson's shoe campaign. Uh, we're obviously shooting on digital, but we're also shooting some of it on film. So I thought this is a perfect opportunity to show you guys how I shoot on film using lighting. Okay, so before we even get to the studio, a few things that you're gonna need obviously is a film camera. Um, I've got the Mamiya 645 here. Okay, the other thing you're gonna need is a air remote. I use Profoto. This is the air remote um, that I use and put on my film camera. Basically, this one here is kind of like the generic air remote. So it should work on pretty much any um, camera. And it just has the, um, the hot shoe mount, as you can see there. And that pretty much just attaches. For this camera anyway, you know, many will have the hot shoe attachment up here. And you literally just slide that on there. No, facing you. Um, but this one has it on the side here, just here. So all we have to do is literally... It's so hard to do on camera. Slip it in there and it attaches. So it does look a little bit odd, but it really doesn't matter how it looks, does it, as long as it works. Um, and basically we just turn this on. And this air remote, you just treat it as though you're using any other um, camera. So you connect your air remote to your lights. Um, and to be honest, it's that simple. It's not a difficult process at all. I'm gonna take you to the studio and show you how I actually set everything up. In order to select my settings for the camera, I actually use a bit of a cheats way and dial in my settings first with the R5 and then I basically apply these to the Mamiya. That way I know I'm on the right track. For this shoot I wanted to play around and try a few different film stock. So I took a whole bunch with me, I took some Fuji Pro 400, Cinestill 50D and some Delta 400. I wanted to start with Delta, so knowing that it was a 400 film stock, I went back to the R5, set the ISO to 400, then chose a small aperture of 13, and mainly because I wanted to make, um, make sure the subject was really in focus. Next, I um, set my shutter speed at a 60th of a second, as that's the maximum sync speed of the Mamiya, and from there it was really just about tweaking my light power. Once I was happy with these settings, I applied them to the Mamiya and we were good to go. I know it's a cheat and you can definitely use a light meter, but if it can save you a little bit of time, then why not do it, I say. I'm not opposed to a quick and easy fix.